What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 15 of our Pokemon Wire Wonderlock that's been going down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode, what we did was we made our way through the Glittering Cave, we took on Team Flare, we picked up the Sour Fossil, and then we pretty much made our way back through Route 9, and then we, uh, what do you call it? Um, we made the Sour Fossil into the more I can't even remember the word. It's just not clicking. Not clicking. But um, yeah, so pretty much that's all we did. Brief recap. Um, but let's have a quick party recap as well to go with that. Because I need a bit of a refresher here. So um, what do we have once again? We've got Gibble, level 20 Gibble with Takedown, Dragon Rage, Outrage, and Iron Head. Then we've got Taylor, level 19 with Brave Bird, Growl, Double Team, and Wing Attack. Kangaskhan, level 23 with Comment Punch, Double Hit, Fake Out, and Bite. Then we've got the Asleep Ponyta, level 20 with Stomp, Horn Drill, Hypnosis, and Flame Wheel. we got Dino Clear, the Shield On, the French Shield On with Taunt, Metal Sound, Takedown, and Iron Defense. And then we've got Little Torchic here, level 14 with Scratch, Growl, Focus Energy, and Ember. So cool. And it's got Speed Boost too, which is pretty epic. But yeah, so that's the team. But as I said at the end of the last episode, we actually will be kicking off today's episode with a Wonder Trade because as you guys may or may not know, Amora is an event... Well, I classify it as an event Pokemon. It's just like Snorlax. So, you, I guess you just Wonder Trade it off. It's... Yeah, and see what you can get. But the goal in today's episode is to make our way back through Route 8 on our way to Solage City and then we'll kind of just see what, see what we can do from there because from what I know there is a lot of trainers on the beach of Route 8. But yeah, let's get into Wonder Trade and see what we can get from this Amora. So let's go. So once again, it's a level 20 Amora with Icy Wind, Takedown, Mist and Aurora Beam. There's a Bold Nature too which ups defense and lowers attack from what I believe. But yeah, let's trade this one off and Hope for the best. Okay, so let's see if everyone is trading straight power today. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Because yes, ho hoping for no dupes clause once again, because in the last episode we traded off, um, what was it? I can't remember. An Onyx. And then we ended up getting a Gibble, which was pretty weird. Um, which I could have kept the Gibble because that's pretty cool to have a backup Gibble if you know what I mean. But um, we've got Lucas from Australia, Queensland. Queensland coming through with the goods. If you guys did not know, I'm actually from Queensland as well. So that's pretty cool. Shout outs to Lucas. we got a Chatot. Okay. Interesting. Backup, backup flying type. So Taylor goes down. We've got a Chatot. And it's called Mimic. Okay interesting so let's have a have a sus of this chat hot and see what it is rocking to be called mimic hopefully it's um rocking mimic if you know what i mean that could be interesting let's get out of here and let's go into oh no we don't want to go into pokemans let's just go to the pokemon center actually because we need to heal up anyway and then we'll have a sus of this chat hot chat hot Awesome, so we'll heal up. Heal up real quick. I know Ponytail's asleep as well, so we need to fix that. Because that could be dangerous. I don't know if we're going to keep Torchic in the team or not, because we do have Ponytail, and I want to use Ponytail. So, I don't know, it's kind of just there, just getting XP for now. But, um... Let's go into Organized Boxes. And let's have a look. Okay. So it is a Japanese Chatot, it's level 27. It is a hasty nature, which is a neutral nature from what I believe. It has Sing, Fury Attack, Chatter, and Taunt. So Sing could be very useful for captures. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing all too crazy, if you know what I mean. So I'll go into the summary, I'll just have another look here. Oh no, so hasty. What was that? It says here that it ups speed and lowers defense, I believe. So that's interesting. A like fast chat on. Somewhat fast anyway. Cool. So we'll leave that one in the box. Just wanted to have a sus of that one. 
Interesting nickname, Mimic. I guess I'm guessing it's like Parrot Mimic, you know what I mean? Parrot speeds back. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, 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 rah. Um, but yeah, so as I said, let's make our way to Route 8. So at the Amber Aquarium. So if you guys missed out in an episode, I can't even remember what it was. Um, I actually briefly came through here and we picked up the old rod from Old Maid here. So that's pretty cool. So we can get an encounter on Route 8. There's the Gold Magic Carp too, which is pretty epic. We can get an encounter using the fishing rod now. So if there's no grass, we can um, utilize the rod and yeah. So we could just get an encounter right here and have another wonder trade. So let's let's just do that. Why not? Why not? We've already done one one wonder trade in today's episode. Why not do it again? So it should be a fairly easy capture using the old rod. Here we go. Actually, no, we we can't get an encounter on Route Eight because I've already um I've already caught one up on the hill. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? That's what happens when you don't play play the game for two weeks and then you come back. I tell you, I gotta keep up to date with these things, you guys. So there's no encounter here because we already got one up on the hill, like way way back. But let's pick up this berry, Muggle Muggle berry. I believe there's some sort of item hidden somewhere around here. I just can't remember where. Might be in one of the rocks. Or something. I don't know. They always like to throw random stuff in these rocks. I don't know. We don't have the item finder, so... Let's take on this woman. Oh, With this, I can find items. Okay. Talking about item finder. We got the dowsing machine. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, we, we, we won't worry too much about finding that item. I know there's an item hidden there somewhere because it was really annoying me. So there's that hill that I was talking about. So that's where we got our first encounter, back up that way. Let's keep making our way through here. I might even avoid these trainers for now. And only battle the necessaries. Well, I guess... Um I guess uh, so. That's a large city. Actually, let's let's battle these trainers because we need to get some EXP. Because I know that Grant has level 25. He's got a level 25 Ar Amora and a level 25 Tyrant. So we need to make sure that we're up to spec. I could do this in a grinding montage, but 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 why not? Why not just keep it in game? So let's go, Masquerade. Because Gibble's going to be no good against Amora. But yeah, Gibble all around in this gym is not going to be the greatest, in my opinion, just because we got the Dragon Dragon typeage and then we got the Ice first Dragon typeage. So we need to keep Gibble away from this gym. So I might just get some brief XP kind of here and then swap out and we'll choose something that is going to be a little bit more useful and get that one up to spec. Um, so who do you would be best? Because we got Ponytail that would be good against um, Amora. And then nothing too crazy. Um, that'll be good against Tyrant. Hmm. Because hmm, Shield On doesn't have anything all too fancy. It's just got tape down. Hmm. Because we got good typeage there. We got like Rock Steel, which is pretty good. But yeah, so that's interesting. Kangaskhan may be our best bet for that one. But um, let's get Ponytar up front, I think. And we'll train Ponytar. Because Ponytail will be useful at this next gym. Don't really want to go up against a fisherman with Ponytail. So let's find maybe you. Actually, they're all going to have water types. Oh. Wingull. Of course. I 
me and Wingo don't get along all too well. So let's definitely swap out, because look at this, level 19. Um... Because I just have nothing that's all too special against these water types. I need, a, I need an electric type for sure. Because, yeah, water pulse that. Oh no! Rock type edge. <laughs> no, I completely forgot that shield on is a rock type. Stop it. Um, let's go into Kangaskhan. Just blunt, like, blunt moments. I'm clearly brunette, but you know, blunt moments coming through. Supersonic Wingull is so annoying. So freaking annoying. So I'm just going to... Let's buy it. Awesome. Flinch. Perfect. Kings Khan coming through with the hacks. I can deal. Awesome. Kings Khan coming through with the goods. That's all we need. Wingulls are so, so annoying. Awesome. XP for all. Flame charge. Yes. Forget. Forget. Hmm, what's better? Flame charge or flame wheel? Because it does clean itself in a flame. It uses it raises its speed. But then what does flame wheel do? It has five more PP, does 60. Um, and it also has a chance of burn. Hmm. Let's get rid of. Horn drill. Horn drill could be really fun, but I don't think it's going to be very useful at the end of the day. So let's get rid of horn drill and then flame charge. Psyduck. Can't really do too much against Psyduck either, which is so annoying. Let's double hit. Bum. So close. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, after this train, I think we'll, we'll head up into Slarge City and we'll see what else there is to be done up there. Because who knows, there might be something interesting. I can't remember. Well, you guys probably already know, but I definitely cannot remember what happens in Slarge City other than you go up like a big kind of hill. Uh, to get to the gym, and I think you get strength. But let's go here. Let's see what's going down. Hear the tunes. What's behind here? Ah, okay. Okay. Ooh, I think we get our bike here, if I remember correctly. So let's heal up. I think we get our bike. Hmm. Interesting. There you go. So yeah, this is the bike shop. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Welcome, welcome. Come right this way. I'm lucky number 10,001. Your question is, do bicycles come in more than one color? Bing, 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 you are correct. That was such a silly question. Yellow or green? I think we'll go... We'll go... Green. Yeah, gotta go green. Green is definitely the better color. Just looking off to like the left there where the, the lady's standing. Green is definitely better. There you go. So there's a green bike. Awesome. So we got a bike. Let's um let's register that one for convenience. Oops. Bicycle register. Awesome. Boom. Oh dang. Now we're quick. Oh, okay. Oh, so he is grand. Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. But 
I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you this Strength HM in consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to push large rocks around. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Grant. Challenge me at your leisure. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, look, there's an item. Super Potion. Useful, I'll take that. What do you want? Whoops. Okay, nothing all too fancy. But yeah, so we're here at Solar City. And I guess, what's that? That's a cafe. Let's just go into the gym and see what's going down there, I guess. Since we're here. So we got those fishermen to battle, but we can always battle them some other time. Oh, so there's the gym. Let's get this item. This is really, like, it's just staring at me. <laughs> I have to get it. I have to get it. Even though we ne now we got to go all the way back up. Whoops. You can totally tell that I have no clue where I'm going. So I just turn the wrong corners all the time. Awesome. Oh. Well, that didn't work. I was totally hoping that I could, like, right up the mud. Oh, so that's the other side of Connecting Cave from what I remember. Oops, totally missed it. <laughs> totally missed it. Alright, well, we, we'll leave that item and let's go challenge, let's go have a sauce of the gym. Because we could have some troubles on our hands with this gym. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to have to go back to the PC because we've got Torchic and Ponytar. And we've got double weakness here right now. So I really need to make sure that we've got something. Something doing here. Sorry about this guys, a lot of setup. I gotta really make sure I've um, got my game on. Otherwise I'm just gonna lose everyone. So let's deposit. Deposit Tor Torchic for now. And let's get... We might as well get Gyarados, um, or actually, I think, um, I think Remoraid's, yeah, Remoraid's definitely going to be the way to go, for sure. Let's pick up Remoraid, just for, I don't know, just because it, it's got a really, a, a really pretty good move set in my opinion, and it's all set up to go. It's level 25, which is in our level range as well, which is perfect level for the gym. It's not too strong. It's on par. So, why not? Why not? Why not? So yeah, we are here. That leads all the way up to the gym leader. I have no clue. Oh, let's let's talk to old mate here. What does he say? Hey, hey, it's the future champ. What's going down? This is a rock type Pokemon gym, but you already figured that out, am I right? Yeah, sure did. Rock types are great, aren't they? Weak to steel, water, and all kinds of things. Now check out that wall. You can climb it if you start from one of those blue spots left right up down you need to climb every which way to reach the gym leader okay that was that was weird cheers mate I really appreciate the brief tutorial there but they don't call me spider-man for nothing well they don't call me spider-man at all but you know let's go oh, I forgot we had ponytail at the top of the team Oh, all the mistakes though. Um, we could probably take out this Dwebble. I probably shouldn't risk it because we could definitely get destroyed. But we'll definitely flame wheel. So we should be. Oh no. No. <laughs> we definitely can't because the rock type edge neutralizes. Definitely neutralize us. So let's pop out. Go to shield on. See, I'm so out of like out of whack of the game. I've been so in depth in the TCG that I was like, I really need to just start playing the game again. Even if it's on YouTube, I need to um get back in the swing of things before sun and moon comes out. Otherwise, I'm going to start playing that game and be making all sorts of mistakes. 
as you guys can see, I already do make enough as is, so, you know. Uh, I really need some better moves for this shield on. So we'll just keep going. We'll just use another, another takedown. I wonder what TMs we have. We'll have a look after this battle, just to see. Oh, Rock Blast definitely would have destroyed Ponyta. So glad it didn't use that. You get the burn. See you later. Duobo can be an absolute machine at times. Well, in this situation where I'm kind of like limited to what I can and can't use. A Relic Amp. Okay. Really can't. Let's go into Gibble. We'll use Iron Head. Iron Head? I think it's Iron Head. Level 23 Relic Amp. All sorts of rock types in this gym. Yawn. Stop it. <laughs> Hopefully get the uh, one hit KO here. Let's have a drink. My throat is definitely getting dry. Mm. Nothing like a bit of red cordial. Alright, we're doing nothing. We are so doing nothing to this Relicanth right now. We're so underleveled. Definitely may need to do some grinding at the start of the next episode. Alright, let's go into Remoraid. That is our new strongest mon. Yeah, I feel as if I'm really underleveled right now. I don't know. Just the vibes right now. That I'm already having to resort to our strongest mon and we're not even challenging Grant yet, so. Far out. <laughs> that would do way too much. Running out of options here. Definitely running out of options here. We'll try Kangaskhan. I don't know what Kangas can hit. See, this is this is tough when we're under leveled here. That's what I don't like about these locks. Like, it is such a challenge. But it makes it fun, but at the same time, it's just like, oh no. We get way too worried. Hopefully, we can get the flinch. Oh no. Oh, and our speed's dropped. I don't think it's worth using a normal type attack because I can't remember if Relicanth is going to resist resist it or not. Oh, we'll just try. We'll try Comet Punch. Oh no. Don't put me to sleep. Yeah, it's gonna resist. Um So I'm going to go to sleep. This is, yeah, this is way too much of a uh, challenge right now. So let's, let's just heal up. King is Khan, and we'll just keep biting. Biting this fish. Have, have a bit of dinner. Because we're definitely struggling. We're definitely, definitely struggling. And I'm not liking it all too much. So hopefully we got an awakening. Yes we do. So I could definitely just use Gibble and just use Dragon Rage because we got definitely 40 HP down like hit there. Oh no. This trainer definitely knows what I can't even remember, was it a she or a he? Either one. It definitely knows what they're doing. They are. But, awesome. Hopefully there's nothing else, because <laughs> we're struggling way too much right now against these rock types. Maybe an... Ooh. XP for days, though. He. No pain, no gain. Yeah, definitely. 
Definitely showed me that I need to get something sorted. So let's get up out of here. It was definitely nice to like come in here and just have a quick taste of um, what they had to bring bring to the table because it gives me an idea of what I need to do. Because since we have nothing that's all too special against these rock types, I may have to get up to par and try aim to be around level 25. But I think we'll just heal up and we'll call it a day on today's episode because that was, yeah, that was getting away a little bit, um, what do you call it? Becoming a little bit of a spam fest with the items, which I'm not too big a fan of. So I'll take that as, we'll just save it here. Alrighty. So in today's episode, we made our way back through Route 8, which is good. Um, we got a couple of trainers that I'll, that I'll pick up in the grinding montage in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so as I just said then, in the next ep episode, we'll kick it off with a grinding montage. We'll get our mons probably around. We'll try to get everyone to about level 24-ish. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough. And then we'll take on the gym. So with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 16 on another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.